All right, so here we are um, doing the uh, kind of details, refining details, feature details. And I'm just using my um, custom tool, which is just a modified sculpt tool with a tube uh, vector displacement map that I got off of uh, the uh, Mudbox community page. And just stuck it in there to the stamp and went to town. Same thing for my carve brush. It's a uh, wrinkle. It's the wrinkle VDM. And I love it. It's great. Got great pressure sensitivity and does really cool stuff whenever uh, I'm trying to do creatures like this. So I'm just in here just carving away at stuff and bringing in some ridges and um, cutting in some kind of textural, you know, wrinkle cuts. And, uh, yeah, pretty fun part of the process, really. So now I'm going to do a retopologize, a new operation. And I'm going to make it a little bit higher this time, 12,500. I'm going to keep my sculpt layers, my detail, which is going to keep all the levels of subdivision. And then I'm going to flip it to the left to the right. Um, some of these things I still need to experiment with. Um, and then we should be good to go. I'm going to keep everything uniform at this level also. And then I'll hit the read to apologize, wait for a bit, and uh, go get a cup of coffee, come back, and have some new topology to play with. So what I'm going to have is going to be something that's going to be a lot more predictable for sculpting uh, at the higher levels. A little bit more uniform. You're not going to have one spot that holds really a lot of details and one spot that doesn't. And that's the whole idea. Um, I will have to reorganize my um, sculpt layers, but into groups. But that's that's uh, it. Maybe it's something I goofed on, but it doesn't take that long. But as you can see, all the layers are still intact, which is good. I'm just testing them all, make sure they're all legit. And here's a new topology. It seems pretty uniform. And I'm just climbing back up the subdivision levels here to get to um, sculpting here in a bit. But as I said, I need to reorganize these sculpt layers. It's kind of bugging me that they're all stacked just like that. So just recreate the group, just drag it in. It's not that big of a deal, especially on something like this where I'm just kind of have a little bit of fun. So just quick reorganize and I have to make sure I go down to that particular level and uh, move the layers there but it tells you that little number to the left of the layer name will tell you what subdivision level you need to be on all right now I'm gonna go in here just start on the base level just start to uh, um, sculpt in a little bit more fleshy kind of features, kind of get these teeth to hold on to the, or the gums to hold on to the teeth, adding little ridges again uh, to just define forms in a more exciting way. I'm going to create another sculpt group as well and call it details, add in a layer, call it refine. Before I get too far into this process, I want to be able to erase something I don't like. And that's a very cool uh, feature of mud boxes that I can actually erase out sculpting layers. So I'm going to climb to the very tip top subdivision level and then use my VDM brushes to sculpt in these eyelids. And it wasn't holding detail at all earlier before I retopologized, and now it's really smooth and buttery when I try to carve into this and that's the kind of response I need at this level I need a lot of these kinds of details that need to hold up um, so I'm going to just build these things up with all of my different sets of brushes and building in little fleshy forms with the wax and then kind of bulging it out with the foamy and sometimes the bulge brush itself um, a lot of these tools I'm using are basically from just a while. I've been messing with these tools for a long time, 
so I know which ones I like to use for certain situations and what kind of power to set them at and you just get that over time but you know feel free to experiment and have a little fun with seeing what these things can do so I'm just adding definition around the eye so that's the first thing I mess with whenever I get to start working on details is start to uh, identify what the eye is going to look like in the eyelids and start to look into the soul of whatever this creation is and who knows if this thing actually has a soul it's just a monster, it's a beast it's a you know, big kaiju scary thing so I use the term soul loosely but yeah, just going in here with my favorite brushes and it's like the funnest part of the process for me it's going here to define these forms that I've already just been set in set in from earlier sculpting sessions and start to just lay in a little bit more uh, definition. <laughs> 